All right, guys, welcome back. Next step to remember, the whole point is we're trying to get at this window so we can get this window to stop flopping around because when we're at 55 mile an hour, the window closes on us, okay? So we need to remove this division bar. Now, the manufacturer's manual, your 1956 F100 manual, says all you got to do is take off some upper bolts up at the top of the division bar. There's a center bolt down in the middle and a bottom bolt and just lean this back. I'm telling you I haven't had much success with that. So what you need to do is loosen this division bar and get it back. Well you can't do that because these anti-rattle bars are in the way. You need to remove these anti-rattle bars and you got to do it carefully because there's some clips in here that if you damage them you're going to wind up having to replace these two anti-rattle bars. I put some blue tape on here to kind of do a somewhat effort of to protect an older restoration so it doesn't look trashed. And now what it is is there's clips in here. One, two, three, and four. There might be another one hidden back here. I'm going to use my screwdriver to work these clips out and pry against the tape and try and protect the paint. If you get in here in the middle, these clips, they just rip right out. So be careful and watch what you're doing. So let's see if we can get these popped out. This one I kind of cheated. I've got this one already started here, okay? So let's start down here. Here's another one. I'm using a large flat blade, flat blade screwdriver to get in here. I'm working both sides, and there we go. Got that one. Now I don't know how many times this thing has been off, but I'm telling you this thing is not easy. There we go. There's another one. Make sure you don't drive it down in there. There we go. So there's four of them total. And there it is. And these guys, there's just little crimps that crimp into here. And if you bend these and break these, the crimps will come out and you'll never be able to get them back in there. And then you'll wind up, it'll just be loose. You have to buy another one. So there's one anti-rattle bar out. Now let's go ahead and carefully pry the next one. we go carefully on both sides working our way around you don't know how long these things have been in there here we go so there's all four now we got to pull it out here we go Number two anti-rattle bar is out. Next step, we've got, we've got to follow this division bar up and we'll find two screws at the top. There's another screw right here. And then just inside on the bottom, there's one more screw for this bar. All right, for the division bar. Once we've got that out, we can move on to the next step. 